Alright guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how we can make repository pattern or repository class and use it to get our you know the products so in this screen you are seeing the products so currently we are doing the query and you can also see shop pages in which I have latest five products so I'll show you the code so in product controller sorry, in can see I'm getting this okay and also the show method is also using the query but I want to write this query in some other class and still be able to use that also I want to use the same class in soft controller too so how can we do that is there any way yes so we're going to use repository pattern for using repository pattern we're going to make one class so inside app i'll make one directory and name it repositories <coughs> and in repositories i'll make a new file and name it product repository mm, so let me write the class I know my fan have been you know spinning a lot so in product repository we will have multiple methods such as get all find delete so we want to perform that query in this repository so we can do like this get all will give us all the latest product I know my fan have been spinning a lot but I am thinking of replacing my laptop with a new desktop setup so it won't be too long now before I get my desktop so yeah so get all will give us the product products list fine will get give us our first product based on the ID also we can write for save <clears throat> all right so for save we can do product create for delete sorry it, it will have data for delete we will pass an ID and it will delete the product so we can do the same thing here instead of for after first oh no what happened come on okay no worries first delete so so this is this is our product repository class so it will get us all the product it will give us single product it will give us it will save our product and it will delete our product so we want to use that in product controller so how can we do that so we can do that using dependency injection so we'll make new variable product repository and in here I'll make doctor and I'll using dependency injection I'll inject the product repository class here so this is one important point though we can use uh, but another way too but using dependency injection we can we have to only use the class you know one time so we have our repository class here but there is no namespace so we also have to use namespace 
namespace will be app slash repository because it is inside app and inside repository folder so now we can use prog repository this, is, this was actually wrong path okay so it is good so we have prog repository class here and we're injecting it from here now we can start using our repository class object actually so this product repository so what we can use for getting all the product we can use get all okay so we can use get all like this so for storing so we'll get all the inputs first like dollar request all and after getting the data we want to save now so we'll say this product repository so what will be good uh, it will be save okay so we can use save for that all right actually inputs and we can now save and redirect or whatever for this we can use dollar this product repository find dollar id because find is best for this for deleting delete will be the best so actually we can just copy so we are not actually doing the, the implementation like storing and other thing but this is it i know it will work and delete the id so again we are not deleting it so we are just writing the code so i can show you and yeah so let's see whether that is working or not yeah it's working so we can query like that too so we can put out all the query here and still be able to use that so what about soap controllers in soap controller i also want to use like that so what i'll do is copy the repository class and now for limiting there are no actually any method in the repository so i want to quickly make one so we can add to here okay so i can say latest but by limit okay latest by limit and we can pass the limit so whenever we can we call we can pass the limit so it will just like above but with limit limit will be dollar limit so whenever we want to hit so now we can say this product repository and we can say let us by limit and the limit will be five because we want five products so what we'll do is go to this method so it will get the pro latest product with limit of that five and get the product so let's see whether it is working or not in shop page yeah it is still working so that's how we can use repository pattern to actually write all the query in one of our classes in repository and use in uh, many controllers so by doing this we can define all our query in using repository pattern which we can use in as many controller as we like we can also use as many repository class here like category repository if we had any so that's it so i hope you like my video and i'm guessing that you'll like comment and subscribe to my video thank you guys thank you for watching